Well, folks, it's time to cover another one of those topics here on Nerd Cheek that you never want to have to come across, but just in case you do, let's do this. So you may need to reset your device to factory settings like I do because you need to get a user on here and it won't let you. So I'm trying to add one of my kids profiles to this so they can use it since their device has issues and I'm having a challenge because it won't let me. So I'm having to go and reset this thing. So the first thing is <clears throat> if you pull down from the top, you'll get into where your settings are, um, but you're going to have to pull down this little arrow right here. It's really functionally frustrating sometimes. Hit the little gear icon and that takes you in your settings. So now I'm in my settings. I'm going to have to go down to device options and that's where I can do the reset. And then right here is reset to factory defaults. Do not do this unless you mean to. It's going to remove all personal data and downloaded content from the fire. And I'm clicking, you're about to reset your fire to factory defaults, which will remove all your personal information, Amazon account information, downloaded content and applications from internal, internal storage. So I'm resetting and I click reset and it's going to start this process <clears throat> where it does this, it goes off and it's going to come back up and start the white process. Now, here's the thing. Do not do this unless you really mean to. It's going to take all your Amazon device settings out, your account settings and everything, which is what's necessary if you're sending the device back because you want to get a credit from Amazon. So if you're sending the device back to Amazon to get a credit or whatever, wipe it, get it all off of there, get all your settings off and erase just like this. And you'll see it's doing that process now. If you don't need to, don't do it because it's going to be a challenge to get it set back up again. You can see my other tutorials on how to set up the device. Now, from this point, it really is just letting it do this until it comes back up and that's it. So really, this video is over. Um, this is what resetting looks like. If you don't need to do it, don't do it. I had to do it because this wouldn't allow me to put a child profile on here. If you're sending it back to Amazon, if you're selling it to someone else, if you're giving it to a friend who's not on your account, reset the device and then hand it off to them and let them set it up using one of the tutorials I've got on here for setting up your device. But that's it for this one. If you like this and it helped you, we try to keep them short and make them really helpful. Uh, give us a thumbs up and hit the comments if you got something else you'd like us to do. Don't forget, we've got the Ask the Nerd podcast, which is huge. We've got the Ask the Nerd app. You can find everything that we've got at askthenerd.net. Go find it and uh, use all our free re resources. We love helping.